Okay, if you've seen any of my other videos, you've probably seen these things before. This is a, a pot stand I made. Uh, it basically just clips together into a tripod stand. And the reason I bought it is, or the reason I made it, is I bought this stove and it was damaged. The pot stand that was on it was broken. And rather than throw it away, I decided to make this tripod. Now, these are aluminium tubes that's on it, but see if you put steel tubes on it. You could set that on top of a fire, an open fire, and just put your pot on it there. So it's quite a handy wee thing to have. Uh, you could probably have seen these as well. This is my... the wee pot I use for cooking. Or boiling my water. It actually weighs less than a 10 pence piece. So that is why I use that. It holds a mug of water and I keep it in this plastic container which is also doubles up as a bowl so you could eat your Weetabix and banana in there in the morning. Because it's handy. And these are my... the way I pack my coffee. Just put it in a tin foil envelope and just use it when I need it. Usually me about half dozen of them. So that is that. Uh, this is my windshield that I made. And you just unravel it. There's three buttons in here. You just button them together. One at the top. And that can sit around your stove and there's wee pegging points here you can, so it's kind of windy day you can peg that into the ground so well i'm putting a brew on i'll talk about something else it's actually i had a shower today it's, sh it's a bit showery so Now these are great bottles, so say innocent juice, see if you have an extra bottle for water, these don't leak, a lot of bottles leak, these don't, and they hold what, 1.35 litres, so they're excellent bottles for additional water if you want to carry it with you. So, look what that is in there. Oh, boy, look here. Anyway, excellent bottles if you want to carry some extra water in your bag. That's the pegs for pegging that down if it's windy day. Ah. I like to bring my milk another bottle and my insulated mug a spoon I'll just put my coffee in there so that's a good way of doing your coffee if you get powdered milk you can put your powdered milk in as well but I just put coffee and sugar in and I bring some milk And you just fold that up, stick it in the wee tub, and you can take it home with you, refill it. So the water usually takes about three minutes or so to boil in this. Uh, I'll put the lid on. And that's what I usually take with me for my bike trips. So I usually only have a cup of coffee in the morning and then I'll go and find a place to buy some food. Uh, I used to take with me some pots, mess tins actually, 
and do a bit of cooking. But I find when you're on the bike, you've not really got a lot of time for cooking stuff. You know, you, you're, you're, you're passing villages all the time. You can just pop into a bakery and something like that and get something to eat. Something hot, uh, which is more convenient. But it's good if you take some pots at night, you can make a meal before you go to bed. So that's my setup for make my coffee in the bike camping traps. So that's the water just boiling now. Seems to be every time I try to film it, it starts to rain. It seems to be the story of my life for the last couple of years. Plagued, plagued by shivers and rain. So sometimes it's just good to get out into the woods, hear a bit of bug chattering. Yeah, so every time I try to put the camera on, the, the rain starts coming down. So as I was saying, sometimes it's just good to get out into the woods and listen to the birds singing and chattering. See the squirrels hopping about the trees. And just take a peaceful time, maybe an hour or so, if you can find the time to do it. It makes you feel a lot better. Uh, carry on through the day. Cheers you up a wee bit sometimes. Uh, so yeah, I like the old insulated mug, there's no burn in the lips and and it's st your, your coffee stays lo uh, warm a lot longer in it, you just put your lid on and you can, uh, it'll, it'll keep warm for quite some time, it's a cold day, it heats your hands up as well. Uh, yeah, so what I usually do is, when I'm, I get to camp, when I'm going to camp, I usually get a cup of coffee on and while that's on I set my tent up and by the time I set the tent up the coffee's ready or the water's ready to make the coffee and that's what I do and the same in the morning I usually put the coffee on get the tent down get all my stuff packed away and when I'm finished doing that there's a cup of coffee there sometimes I have a cup of coffee and then take the stuff down and then have another cup of coffee after it. Depends how I feel. Uh, but yeah, it's all this gear. It really packs down light. I mean, your, your wee tub. Your coffee's in it. I mean, that doesn't weigh anything. That is light. The plastic cup is light. The stove is light. The heaviest thing here is this one one and a third litres of water. But these are great bottles. They're good and sturdy. And even if you squeeze them, they won't leak. Like some bottles if they don't really leak but if you squeeze them you get some water out of them. Uh, and it's no good if it's in your pack and something's leaning against it. Water will leak out and if it's in a somewhere where Beside things you don't want to get wet. Yeah, it could be a problem, it could be a sleeping bag or something. So that is my beverage setup. So that's basically what the kits uh, is in the kit actually. So you get the stove, the wee pot with the plastic bowl cover thing, your wee milk container your gas and your windshield and extra water uh, if you need it 
had to retire in, into the trees here so that's will be a bit darker in here but the rain started to come down and that pesky rain you don't mind it but when you want a video and you've not got any waterproof on your camera it can be a problem so that's the gear that I take with me for camping trips. <laughs>